We into New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. A church you can call home. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is prepare to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. We should have that attitude. I'm hungry for the Lord. I'm hungry for more of Him. Yeah, on a daily yeah, basis yeah. not just uh, well you know I had enough you know yeah. when we re reach a certain oh. order a certain level you say that's enough you know uh -huh. no you know <laughs> thank God you have a vehicle yes and that vehicle takes fuel <laughs> and you got to keep fuel in it to right. use it and it blesses you amen it takes you where you want to go yes. amen it takes you to work takes you to church takes you wherever you want to go mm -hmm. but still you got to keep some fuel in it Yes. We got to keep the word of God in us. Exactly amen. Right. amen. Uh, we we got to keep that spirit man of God filled. Uh -huh. Amen. We got to keep our minds renewed with the word of God. Yes, so do. this flesh, we got to crucify. Right. Let's remember this. Amen. So stay hungry for more of him on a daily yeah. basis. Lord, you have something for me today. And I ain't letting go until you bless me. And he's going to bless you. Amen. So yes, we got to have that determination. Amen. Praise God. God, don't allow uh, God to leave without blessing you. Amen. He's here. You come to receive. Amen. Amen. You receive. Amen. You want to leave change. You want to uh, leave a new person. He's not finished with you. He had great plans for you. He's called you. He's anointed you. And you have to do something with it. You know, as you fill yourself with the word of God, I'm going to step out in faith. Uh, uh, this is the day God's given us, but I'm going to step out in faith because I'm going to get the word of God in me. Amen. And I'm going to step out in faith. No longer am I going to be in fear. I'm going to step out in faith. Amen. And be victorious through him. Woo. Hallelujah. Let me read you this nugget I have for you here today. If Satan's not fighting against you, maybe it's because he's walking with you. Oh, boy. Be careful of your words. Be careful of your actions. And be careful who you associate with. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because if he, if he ain't fighting you, maybe it's because we're just uh, walking side by side. So okay. let's not do that. Also, Satan targets your mind, and his uh -huh. weapons are lies. And how does he get lies in you? He puts thoughts there. And he yeah. brings old things back. Amen? Yeah. And he uses people, unsaved people, yeah. to let you know and re remember the old things. And remember this, and remember this. And the, you keep receiving it over and over so we need to fill our minds with the word of god and renew our minds with the word of god if you're not doing that you know it's easy for us to fall because we can do all things through christ and we can do all things as we get the word in us because the truth is going to set us free but if you're not getting that truth in you and you're not renewing your mind we can easily fall oh yeah you know some of us think well you know if i met my quarter today i went and sat in church and i, I went and said in church and, and took off and that's it you know the rest of the week Sunday to Sunday that don't mean nothing the devil is full time we got to be full time if you're only part time believer you ain't no match to this devil you ain't no match to this world because they can have you in a heartbeat amen so say I receive <laughs> alright so we're going to be talking you know this is a month where we kind of equate with uh, Thanksgiving, you know. This is when we celebrate. November is the month we celebrate Thanksgiving, okay? But we, I want, you're going to hear this many times. Thanksgiving should be, or giving thanks should be a daily thing. Not a monthly thing. Not a yearly thing. Or maybe, you know, when things are going good, you know, I thank God when He blesses me. And any other time, we just forget about Him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He don't work that way. No. Amen. We nope. should be... We should give thanks on a daily basis. Yes. You know, first thing is, you open your eyes. And he gave you a wake-up call. Yes. So, thank you, Jesus, for waking me. Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in, in him. Give back to him. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to rejoice and be glad for this day you have given me. Let's remember these things. Some, some of these things just slide by, you know, because we're too occupied with a busy mind. Oh, boy. Amen. Our mind is going 100 miles, you know, mm -hmm. and we got to keep these schedules, you know. We got these priorities. And, you know, we got, you know, whatever you got first on your priority list uh -huh. is not God. That's it. 
we've moved them all the way down you know oh, every time we got a new priority it goes up to the top mm -hmm. and he keeps sliding all the way down said wait a minute on a constantly whenever uh -huh. daily or as often as you can yeah put him on top Amen. and keep him keep him on top and yes, yes i say lord i need your help yeah well He's on the throne. Yes. Get off the throne. Let him get on the throne. Amen. And Amen. keep it, keep him there. Because this world is going to try to change all your priorities. You know, uh, I love sports. And I watched some football games yesterday. And, or um, highlights. And uh, man, them stadiums get full. And they're full. And man, they worshiping their God. They're worshiping <laughs> their teams. You know, and man, they shouting. And they dress all kinds of ways they don't care who's watching them and they put on a show you know oh, to be in front of a camera uh -huh. and we come to church but we supposed to be christians man and we're so silent man we, we don't say anything oh no oh. she'll put a smile on your face oh, yeah. thank you lord yeah. amen you know thank people you. know people know amen so giving thanks it's going to be a series for this month and then until thanksgiving so just yes. remember this yes. thanksgiving should be on a daily basis yes, give thanks unto the lord yes. before we get too going ahead uh, let's uh grab your, our bibles and let's uh make this declaration together amen. church amen Thank you, lord. hallelujah let's this is my bible, is my bible. i am what it says i am i have what it says i have I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. My mind is busy, but I need to make sure I keep it clean. Okay? Renew my mind and get all the mess out. You know, you know when you go and clean your computer, <laughs> you just get all the stuff out. You know, or your phone, your cell phone, whatever you keep it clean. We need to do the same thing with our minds. We got to keep yes. it clean, amen, at amen. all times, because that's the battlefield, mm -hmm. and that's what the enemy uses. Yes. And thoughts pop up. You know, mm -hmm. he can't force you to do anything, but thoughts come up. Yeah, they do. And sometimes, you know, even uh, born again believers, you know, we get these thoughts of, man, where did it come from? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow, I'm not gonna kill that person, even though he cut me off. <laughs> I feel like getting out of control and just go out walking over there, stopping him, you know, and, and killing him. No, no. I don't want to do that. No, that's it. <laughs> so we got to renew our minds because every day uh, it's bombarded. Yes. Amen. This world is bombarded with negative things. And last week we talked about go like your world. Mm -hmm. How are you going to like your world? You know, well, share the word of God. Yes. Amen. <laughs> And if you ain't lighting your world, you know, this is a dark world. Mm -hmm. You only like some of these people they ever see. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to go light our worlds. Amen. So we got to be grateful with grateful hearts. Giving thanks Amen. unto the Lord. Yes. And giving thanks at all times. That's yes. our message today. Yes. Giving thanks. Yes. That should be a daily thing. Amen. Yes. Keep going. Thank Here you. we go. If you turn to uh, Psalms uh, 107 and verse 1, it says, Give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mark these down. Write these yes. down. Also, let's go to John 3.16. Oh, yeah. Amen. You say, well, you know, I'm always giving. God never gave anything. Well, let's go to John 3.16 and see what he did. It tells us what yes. God did. And he was first before mm -hmm. us. Let's read uh, seven, uh, 16 and 17. It says, for God has so loved the world that he gave what? Only His only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but what? Have everlasting <laughs> life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's always thought about us. You know, he could have just said, you know, forget it. Jesus could have said, I don't want to go. I don't want to be sacrificed. Forget it, no. Yeah. But he did. So now, let's study. Let's let's uh, get the word in us so we can walk in faith yes. so, and, and walk in gratitude. Mm -hmm. Let me see what I got here. Believers should give thanks to him daily on a daily basis. Yes. Believers yeah. are to call to uh, are called to be grateful and thankful people. Have an attitude of gratitude changes depressions to joy, changes frowns. 
just smiles. Yes. yes. You know, people are, uh, they can see you frown all the time, you oh, know, yeah. and they ain't going to say nothing. No. <laughs> but, you know, you put a smile on your face and they want to know, yeah. what did I miss? Yeah. I missed something. <laughs> what's so funny? Oh, what's so What's so nice, you know? Mm -hmm. They want to know. Yeah. But you got to be willing to say, That's it. God loves me. God loves you. You know, he gave his life for us, you know, and you can share that with them. You know, they'll share something with you. If they want to tell you something, they'll tell you. Whether you want to hear it or not, they're bold enough to do that. Yeah. And you got to be bold enough to say, why are you smiling? No. Well, I can't tell them Jesus, you know, so I'm going <laughs> to say something else. Mm -hmm. No, just let them know. God loves me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he blesses me all the time. Yes. And this my, a frown is turned into a smile. Mm -hmm. Amen. They open up and they invited you to come and uh, share with them. Why is it you're smiling? Tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not just because you wanted something new or because whatever. You know, you got a pay raise, whatever. You got a new vehicle. No. God blesses me. Mm -hmm. Amen. God Amen. blessed me. Giving thanks unto Him on a daily basis. And you're going to hear that many times. Keep going. Here we go. This is another yes. one. I just, we quoted that a few minutes ago. We quote this all the time. Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. And it says, one translation says, we will rejoice in it. Mm -hmm. No, and you can make it, I will rejoice. Mm -hmm. Or you can yeah. personalize it, put your yes. name in it. Yes. Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. But you don't know my problems. You don't know my circumstances. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I'm facing. Mm -hmm. You don't know what jobs I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't know my God. Mm -hmm. When you have relationship is called Christianity is relationship we spend time with him he knows you already we yes. need to know him and we need to know his word so yes. we can start using the word Amen. and using authority yes. and, 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 and confess the word and speak the word against what's coming against you I said, wait a minute Jesus already defeated this Jesus already defeated Satan he said defeat that foe and you don't have to go through this I come against that in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So praise the Lord. Every day will be a day of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. Forget the problem. Forget the cares. The coronavirus. Remember Paul and Silas? Paul and Silas were so sad. You know, they put him in a prison. And they were so sad. They were just laying there. No. No? No. We were no. praising God. You know, they were praising God. Man, they got beat. No, you don't know what I've been through. You don't know what they went through. <laughs> they got beat. They got humiliated. They got spat on. They got all these things happened to them, you know. And then, then they threw them in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. And gave them enough reasons to be sad. Yeah. But they weren't sad. Yeah. You know, this is a good time to praise our Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And yeah. they praised. You know, they praised the Lord. Yes, they did. Man, give, give the enemy a headache, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I humiliated mm -hmm. him. I made him feel bad. Mm -hmm. You know, and I wanted to change mm -hmm. their attitude towards God, but they didn't. It, it just encouraged them. Yes, it did. That's what we need to do. Be encouraged, you know, to do no matter what. You know, maybe the whole crowd might be going this way, but God said go this way. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to be listening. Amen. Yeah. And and go which which way he wants us to go. Well, the crowd, you know, you just don't follow the crowd because they could be going the wrong way. They are going the wrong way. God says go this way, yeah. go right, and they're going left. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> Psalms uh, ninety two and one says it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto yes. Thy name, O Most, Most high. high. And that's what Paul and Silas did. Mm -hmm. This is the time that we can mm -hmm. praise God. And they started praising God. And guess what? God heard. <laughs> and he shows up. And man, he just popped all them cell doors open. Mm -hmm. All the chains fell off of him. Yes. Amen. And the jailer sees this and he says, I'm history. I'm done. Mm -hmm. They're going to kill me for doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was going to kill himself. And they said, wait a minute. We're all here. Don't, don't kill yourself. That's it. That's it. And his family came to God, you know, because, mm -hmm. because of what he saw right people are going to see you go like your world you know mm -hmm. hear your testimony mm -hmm. some of you have awesome testimonies god says share it don't keep it to yourself well i don't want to embarrass anybody mm -hmm. well you weren't embarrassed when you was out doing what you was doing right Come on, and man. god brought you out of it mm -hmm. right now he wants you to share with somebody because they need to hear it and mm -hmm. say you know i was where you are mm -hmm. but god brought me out 
and he can bring you out too. All yes. you need to do is receive him as Lord and Savior, yes. and he's going to see you through all this. Yes. And man, you're going to start living for him. Yes. He calls you, but he can't, <laughs> you can't serve him if you're in bondage, mm -hmm. if you're in sin and doing yes. all these things. That's it. You got to cast all these things on him and relieve yourself. Yes. He'll, he'll, make, he'll set you free yes. of all these things. Amen. He's more powerful than drugs. He's more powerful than mm -hmm. uh, alcohol. He's more powerful than whatever yes. is coming yes. against you. That's it. nothing. Amen. Praise God. Psalms 192 uh, and 1 says, mm -hmm. It is a good thing to, to give thanks, thanks unto the Lord mm -hmm. and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Yes. It is a good thing. It is a God thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is a God thing to do that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give thanks unto him for blessings. Uh, for blessing us abundantly. John 10.10 10 says what? Keep one more. John 10.10 10 says that. Well let me. Let's read it. John 10.10. 10. Sometimes uh, we misquote that. Let's see what it says. Well. It says. The thief. <laughs> the thief. Or you can call him Satan. Or you can call him devil. This, the thief does not come. Except to steal and to kill and to destroy. If these things are happening to you, it's not from God. Well, God's trying to punish me to, to teach no, me something. No, that's no, that's not the, what the Word of God says. Well, so-and-so told me this, you know. God wants to draw me closer and He wants to put this on me and, and do this to me. No. It says, that's the enemy. Yes. Jesus said, and that's Jesus. I don't know what kind of Bible you have, but in the King James, mm -hmm. uh, uh, verse 10 is all in red. Mm -hmm. That means red means Jesus is speaking. That's it. Amen. And he he says, "I have come." Jesus says, "I've come that you might have life, life. and that they you you could put that they and you could put your name in." Yes. Amen. Just scratch that. He says that Jose might have life and have it more more abundantly. more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Not just abundantly. He says yes, more, more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. So let's uh, let's uh, let's know this. Let me see. The amplifier says the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. I came that they might have and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. They might have and enjoy life yeah. and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Yes. This is what God wants for you. This is what Jesus wants for you. Mm -hmm. If it's not doing this, we need to get something straight. Yes. Yeah. And he, the problem is not up there. The problem is, mm -hmm. is here. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we need to get it straight here. Amen. 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 Me, not everybody else. Some yes. of us think that uh, God said me here to be a judge, you know, and we're judging everybody else but me. Mm -hmm. oh, we just got to take care of this. All right, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Correct this. Amen. Yes. Yeah. God will take care of the rest. Right. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. amen. That's a good place to say amen. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Keep going. There we go. Be mm. thankful. Yes. Be anxious for no. what? Nothing. For nothing. Be careful. Let's let's go there. Philippians 4 6. King James. Mm. Or whatever translation you have. Mm -hmm. Philippians. Is it in the Bible? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look at Job. Be serious now. Okay, 4 6 says what? Be careful for what? Careful everything. For nothing. for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. Amen. Let me see what the uh, what the Amplified says here. Do not fret or have any anxi anxiety about anything, but in circumstances and everything by prayer and petition, uh, define requests. With thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. Amen. Amen. He said He provides all your needs. He said yes. He said He'll provide all your wants. Amen. Right. <laughs> all, all your wants to God. Amen. Amen. So be thankful, yes. but be anxious for nothing. That's it. Amen. Jesus took this all to Himself when He was crucified and placed on the cross. All the cares, all the sicknesses everything was placed on him and he, he represented all these things mm -hmm. but now we need to use this word and open his yeah. word and read his word yes. so we can know the truth and it's going to set us free yes. from mm -hmm. all the mindsets from yes. all the negative stuff yeah amen that we 
heard that so and so said that is not true. But that's not what the word of God says. But you know, uh, because everybody is believing it, I'm going to believe it. No. If it's against the word, yeah. then stand on the word. That's it. Yeah. And not what people say. And not just to be popular with people. Be popular with God. Yes. Be a God pleaser, not people pleaser. Yes, amen. And they're going to come against you and say, you, you can't do that. You can't wear that. You can't do this, do this. Well, what's the word of God said? Can you give me a scripture? Oh, no, but uh, that's what we believe in. I'm sorry, but uh, no, I'm not sorry. I'm blessed because yeah. I'm going to stand on what the Word of God yeah. says. Amen. Amen. And maybe, you know what? Let me show it to you. This is what the Word of God says. Well, no, uh, that's okay. I don't want to see that. I'm just going to stand with what oh, they say. No. no, then you're wrong. If you don't want to be free from this, you know, that's too bad. Anyway, be careful for nothing. No anxieties, no care, no circumstances. All these things, he says, cast on him. Reasons. We should be grateful and thankful. <laughs> Let's go to Psalms 100. Everybody knows this, and I love this uh, song. Which one? Psalms 100. 100. <laughs> 100. Yay! Yeah. It's only five verses, but this is great. Yes, it is. Amen. Mine starts off with a, a song of praise and joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to sing more of these on a daily basis. <laughs> And mine says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. That's us. Yeah. Serve the Lord with sadness. No. no, no. no. Oh, okay. Sadness. I want to make sure you're reading it now. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. Amen. Not complaining. <laughs> know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So here's what he wants us to do now. A lot of the, all this is a lot of action words here. Yes. What we must do. He says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. praise. Yes. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Yes. You know, I saw some of those games yesterday. And only time I ever see people raise their hands is, man, he scored a touchdown. <laughs> Yay. He did good. We come to church and Man, we're frozen. <laughs> frozen chosen. Yeah, oh, frozen God. chosen. At praise thing, thank you. I mean, they 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 sing and they bring these songs and and it blesses me. Let it bless you. But you know, when we it's going to bless you. It's going to it's it, it's going to affect you differently than me. Me, I could be joyful. I'm raising my hands. I'm praising my God. You, it just could put tears in your face. Mm -hmm. Put tears on you. Could uh, be sad. I mean, uh, maybe you want to lay. Maybe you want to kneel. Maybe you want to raise your hands. Maybe you want to run around the room. Amen. <laughs> but you know, so it is a lot of action happening there. Yes. <laughs> Unless you just say, "Man, you we just fight this." Well, I tell you what. When you're in that ball game, or when you when you when you when you are wherever you go to, you move. Okay, yeah. man, you're moved by right. what you see or what you hear. But you hear what the word of God says, man. Yes, yes. He set me free. Uh -huh. yes. Oh no, yeah. I'm just no, 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 no change whatsoever. Be happy. No, what Jesus has done for us, Amen. And He wants to bless us more and more. And He wants to uh, be there for us every time. He says, "I'll never leave you nor forsake you." He's there all the time. Yes. Ooh, man. <laughs> Uh, believers should rejoice and be glad and give thanks daily. Believers should be yes. happy. Most joyful people on earth. Yes. And some right. people are just going to be curious, you know, because they want to know why you laugh yeah. all the time. <laughs> Let me see what kind of drugs you take. <laughs> what kind of drink you take. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you not drink from the most high. Mm -hmm. And I get high on the most high. Bring the most high. And I, can, I can share it with you. Amen. No side effects. Well, side effects is joy, <laughs> joy, joy. Yeah, yeah. No negative stuff. No negative stuff. That's it. Believers, we are the uh, blessed. We're too blessed to be stressed, mm -hmm. and we're too uh, we're too blessed to be stressed. 
Just leave it at that. Or mm -hmm. let's not be ungrateful. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Yeah, Why give thanks? Because the Lord has forgiven all our sins. Mm -hmm. He's forgiven and forgotten. Mm -hmm. But you know what the enemy does and what people do that's being used by the enemy? Mm -hmm. Is they're going to bring it back to you mm -hmm. and remind you. Amen. Listen, when you accept Christ, don't go back to saying, well, I'm just a sinner. I'm just a sinner. Saved yeah. by grace. I'm just a sinner. No. no, you're not a sinner. You're a child of God. Mm -hmm. You received him as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. St. Corinthians 5, 17 says, the old is out, the new is in. Yes. I had a spiritual birth. Yeah. I'm a new creature in Christ. That's it. I was born again. Mm -hmm. And listen, even if I fall, I still can confess. Yeah, yeah. But I'm Praise still a child of God. I'm still a child of God. Don't give you a free, uh, a free, free thing to go and and just do whatever. That's right. That's right. Amen. You're still a child of God. I'm gonna go back to be a sinner. No. Mm -mm. You're a child of God, and don't yeah. forget that. But He forgives and forget. We must do the same thing. Yeah. Satan and his people. They try to remind you of all these things. Mm -hmm. They try to remind you of your past. They try to remind you of your shortcomings. Mm -hmm. And it's always there. And it's always there. Mm -hmm. Just clear yourself from all that. How? Renewing your mind with the, word of God. with the Word of God. And every time it pops up, just say, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus took care of that. Yes. I gave it to him. He's got it, so That's go it. remind him. That's it. He ain't going to. Amen? That's it. We're his people, and uh, he wants to bless us. We got to renew our minds. Heals all our sickness. Mm -hmm. Sickness and disease. Listen, mm -hmm. a lot of people say this, even Christians. If you don't know the word, if you don't know the truth, you're going to say, God put sickness or Jesus put sickness on me mm -hmm. to teach me something. Mm -hmm. no, no. There's no sickness in heaven. That's it. That's it. How is he going to give you sickness? Mm -hmm. And why would, he, why would God sacrifice his son mm -hmm. and, and put all the sickness on him mm -hmm. to put it back on you? That's right. right. Amen. That's it. No. He didn't put that on you. It's the enemy trying to feed you these mm -hmm. lies. And your body is going through these things. But you have to speak the word Amen. and speak healing. You know, he is, the Bible says he is Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. And Jehovah Rapha means he's my healer. Mm -hmm. A God that, that heals. heals. So he's a God that heals. Amen. He's not a God that brings sickness. Mm -hmm. Redeemed from all destruction. Saved us from the pit. Yeah. I am delivered. I am set yeah. free. Amen. And you Praise can say God. the same thing. Mm -hmm. Gives us his loving kindness and mercies. Amen? Yes. <laughs> Let his love and compassion, we were to be imitators of Christ. Yes. Let his love and compassion flow through you. Go like your world. Let that light mm -hmm. shine through you. Amen. And people are going to see it. And some people won't say anything because they're jealous. Yeah. And because they okay. can't, they can't, they mm -hmm. can't do it and don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So when they see you doing it, they're going to be jealous. And they mm -hmm. might say something negative. Mm -hmm. But still, that's what they want. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're fighting the flesh. They're walking yeah. in flesh. You're walking in His love mm -hmm. and His compassion. Yes. Amen. Praise Woo! Praise hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He might have you bring light or give a word to somebody you don't like. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Amen. So mm -hmm. be careful. If you really, I'm committed. I'm surrendered. Use me, and He's going to bring you. Oh, what is yeah. this? Uh, uh, Ananias. <laughs> he told, go lay hands on Paul, on Saul. Mm -hmm. You know, so the scales can fall off his eyes. Right. He was right. blinded. Lightning hit him. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, yeah. ah, wait a minute. Jesus. You're saying to me, he's killing Christians. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. But you know, he knew he was obedient to what yes. God told him to do. Mm -hmm. And we need to be, do the same thing. Yes. He's going to protect you. He's going to be with you. Amen. We must go and we must serve. We're here to serve. Yes. Not to be served, but to serve. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> God's given us plenty of good things. He, we are blessed. Listen, we are, we can, we can write this down and put it all over your house. <laughs> we are blessed by the best. Amen. He's blessed us mm -hmm. and he's blessing us. And keep that yes. blessing gates, the blessing line yes. open. Lord, I'm ready. Bring it on. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. <laughs> Renewing health and strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's blessing you. He's blessing you. And do you know what? Sometimes your body goes through some changes. Sometimes your body is telling you certain things. Mm -hmm. And you got to remind your body. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. What he said. 
what his word says about yes. you. Amen. And you got to speak the word to your body and yes. say, by Jesus stripes, you're healed. Yes. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Mm -hmm. So don't hold the word in and don't just concentrate on the sickness. Concentrate on what the word of God says. Yes. By his stripes, I am healed. Right. So body, line up. line up with what the yes. word of God says. Yes. Line up with what the word of God says. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to speak to our bodies. We got to yeah. speak to it. Amen. Amen. What are we speaking to it? The word of God. This is what the word of God says. So body, line up with what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh man. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> More reasons we should be thankful. Give yeah. thanks for his presence in our lives. Yes. You know, he puts people in our lives mm -hmm. for some for a short season, some for a longer season, yeah. some forever. Yeah. But then again, he takes people from us. Yeah. Some people come and people go. So if he takes somebody, don't go back to get mm. them. Amen. Let him go. Yeah. Let go. People deserve us when we need them. <laughs> oh boy. The Lord is with us at all times, in all situations. The Lord says, He never leave us nor forsake us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Hebrews uh, 13, 5 and 6 says, Let us conduct, let our conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such thing as we have. For he himself has said, Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And you know, there's a, well, let me finish. Uh, verse 6 says, uh, we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? That's it. You know, the prodigal son, he told dad, he says, hey, give me what's mine and I'm out of here. Yeah. Some of us been there. And if some of us have done that, mm -hmm. dad, you know, give my, my what's mine, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. And we've checked out. But then, you know, we get into that dark world mm -hmm. and the world has us and we ain't ready for the world. Jesus. That's Amen. It. And the prodigal son, that's where he found himself. But then he says, you know what? I got treated better at Father's house. <laughs> and I can do better at Father's house. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he came back. But you know, mm -hmm. we, we've gone through this before. Father was checking every day mm -hmm. for son to come home. Yes, it was. That's what God is waiting on. He's mm -hmm. waiting for us to come home. Some of yes. us have never accepted him. We need to. If you've never accepted him, now's the time to accept him. You know, just yes. confess it. Lord, I, I repent. I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Forget about how he does it. He's yes, going to yes. forgive you. He's going to forgive it. But he's going to say, get up and let's be busy. Yes. Do yes. what I've called you to do. He's got a call on your life. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to fall? How are you going to know what that call is? What are you going to spend time with him and talk to him and mm -hmm. ask him, mm -hmm. what is it you want me to do? Uh -huh. yeah, right. Amen. Yours yes. is different than mine. But we all have the one thing in common. We go into a negative world. Oh, we go mm. for souls. Jesus died for mm. souls. He didn't die for colors now. Mm. Right. Amen. Amen. Whatever. Everybody tries to make Jesus a certain call, you know. Well, he only died for this color or that color. Whatever. It don't matter. We're, Amen. And we're the body of Christ. And whatever it is, we're body of Christ. And he died. He came and died for souls, not for colors now. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're all in this together in the body of Christ. In unity, working together. Yeah. No separations, no divisions. Second Timothy uh, 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we, we need to know this. Fear is coming on you for some, you know, when well, you don't know what I'm facing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're facing fear. Mm -hmm. If you're facing fear, meaning that you haven't taken the authority God has given you. That's it, that's it. Use the word of God. What do I use? Use the word of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. And come against them. Say, I'm taking authority over you. Yes. You're out of here. Yeah. Amen. Tell them where to go. Yeah. Amen. He hasn't given you a spirit of fear. When you fill yourself mm -hmm. with the word, your faith grows. Yes. And you know, when you fill a, a glass of water, <laughs> it's filled with Mm -hmm. So when you fill yourself with the word, you're full of the word. Mm -hmm. So there ain't no room for my fear for fear to be in there. Fear has to go. Yes. I'm overflowing. Mm -hmm. And we gotta be overflowing mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Amen. Constantly overflowing with what the word of God mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. So I'm not giving no room to the devil. Yes. I ain't giving no room for fears. Yes, yes. Amen. But you got you have to do something about it. Yes, well, yes. if I talk to Brother So and so mm -hmm. or Sister So and so, no. or if I talk to Pastor. No. Yeah, maybe from the beginnings, but once you know what to do, mm -hmm. 
You need to read, Absolutely. meditate, yes. and Amen. grow, grow, grow. Another word is mature. You got to mature in the things of God. That's it. So that you can go and grow from this. And the enemy no longer takes That's control it. over you. That's it. Amen. That's Ooh, it. man. Hallelujah. Amen. That's <laughs> it. Psalms 23. Here's another one. Let's go to Psalms 23. We don't, we don't, we don't, uh, well, we use the word of God here. So praise God. Psalm 23. Another six, yes. six verses. Yes. Are you there? It yes. says, The Lord is my shepherd. My shepherd. I, sh yes. I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yes. He leadeth me besides the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Mm -hmm. For his name's sake. Yea, he will walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with uh, oil. My cup runneth over. Amen. I mean, over. Oh. You, got, you, you, you pour yourself. You know, okay, this is pastor, okay? <laughs> when you're out in the world drinking, <laughs> you pour yourself a drink, you know? A big one. A big one, you know? And not only that, man, sometimes when you get a little too much, their drink is flowing over. <laughs> and you don't mind. You say, yeah, I want to make sure I feel this is overflowing. Well, the Word of God tells us for us to do the same thing. Yes. We got to flow over. Uh -huh. You know, say, well, uh -huh. you know, I just want a little bit of Jesus, you know, a little bit of, uh, of, of this, you know, not a whole lot. No, it says they're flowing over. Yes. You know, they're flowing over. You're going to bless people. You're going to yes. touch people, yes. reach people, and, you know, share with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let that light shine, you know. You, you can just have a little spark. Mm -hmm. He says, you got to put some, some fuel yes. in there and get some word in there yes. and get that big flame going, you know. Yeah. Man, people around you are going to notice. They, they can't even <laughs> help but to say something, you know. <laughs> you, you can't be shy about that. And verse 6 says, surely goodness and mercy yes. shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. Amen. So, you know, it says, uh, verse uh, 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. You yeah. know, we're walking through. <laughs> we're not camping out. We're not camping out. That's we're passing through. Mm -hmm. He's with me all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's with me. And he says, you know what? He says, sit him. <laughs> go get him, tiger. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. He wants us to take that authority and go yes. and <coughs> tell the enemy where, where mm -hmm. to go. He says, submit yourself to God. Resist him Resist. and he will... Flee from you. Amen. He's no longer going to hang around with you. That's it. That's Amen. It. Say, hey, we've changed partners. Mm -hmm. We ain't dancing with the world no more. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Psalms 91 is about abiding in his presence, in the presence of God. Amen. Man, we're not going to read that one, but it's a safety of abiding in the presence of God. Psalms 91, read, you can read that on a daily basis. Exodus 33 and 14 says this, the Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. My presence go with you wherever you go. <laughs> you think you're hiding? He sees you. <laughs> well, I, I, I left him, you know, wherever you, wherever you are at home. I left him at home, you no. Know? I left him in the car, you no. Know? <laughs> He's with you. He's in you. He goes where you go. Amen. So we want to give thanks also for uh, his protection, for protecting our lives. There are many dangers in this world, and God protects us. He is the God on the mountain, and he's the God in the valley, you know. So thank him, you know, when you're up high and being blessed and all these things. But, you know, sometimes you go through them valleys, too. But, you know, he's God in the valley, too. He never leaves you. He's with you. He's walking with you. And we're going to go through. He says, we're going through the other side. Right. Yeah. Amen. You got to remember these things. You know, say, hey, you got to feel and get yourself up high again. You can't stay down low unless you want to stay. He said, we got to fix that. Uh, getting the word, speaking the word, and bringing ourselves up. Stir, he says, stir yourself up. Bring yourself up. Don't stay there. Come on, it's time to get up. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're not going to finish this. God protects us and keeps us alive. He is the reason we got this far. The Lord watches over us and he protects us. And you know, these 
uh, two Psalms we just read, Psalms 23, 91. When you get a chance, you can read them on a daily basis. Yeah. Remember the dangerous situations we have faced in the past and how God protected us. Be grateful and give Him thanks. And that's where you also share your testimony when He, when he, when he reminds you to uh, get, get shared with somebody. Share it with somebody. Yeah. Amen? Because they're going to see what you went through. You know what they're going through and what God brought you through. And you are going to be set free as well. Amen? So praise God. Woo! This uh, Psalms uh, 20, uh, 326 says, You can trust the Lord to protect you. He will not let you fall unto them. Right. So let's know that God is with us at all times. Okay? You can talk to Him anytime. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to go to anybody, a pastor, a priest, or whoever. Yeah. You can go straight to Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can go straight to the throne of God and talk yes. to Him right then. Okay? So let's remember this. We're going to close in right there. And we're going to pick it up next week. Yeah. We're going to be talking about giving thanks. Yeah. Just remember, give thanks unto Him, Jesus. Yeah. Giving thanks is Jesus. Amen. Giving thanks daily. Yes. And not monthly, not mm -hmm. yearly, or whenever. Uh -huh. just when things are good no uh -huh. giving thanks at all times Amen. thank you Lord for this beautiful day that you have given yes. us give thanks with a grateful thankful attitude Amen. Yes. heart and also have an attitude of gratitude Amen. Yes. so praise God that you receive yes. that you get something yes. <laughs> it yes. blessed me I don't know about you yes. Amen. but praise God thank you Lord yes. thank, you. thank you thank you praise God praise God there you go some of you, if you've never asked Jesus, now's the time, you know. Yeah. Ask Him to come into your heart. You yeah. know, you've been hard. You've been putting off. Now's the time, you know. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He yeah. will. He don't reject you. He don't close the yeah. doors on you. We shut Him off. Yeah. So now it's time to open your door. Surrender mm -hmm. yourself to Him. Amen. And just tell Him to come in. And He will. And He'll set yeah. you free from whatever is facing you. Yeah. Nothing is greater than Him. Amen. So just invite Him and be your Lord and Savior. And start uh, serving Him. Amen. Amen. Start changing your life. Yes. And, and reading about it and growing in what the Word of God says. Right. So that you can go and He can use you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Anyway. Praise God. Uh, if you have sickness in your body. Speak, uh, as I was saying a few minutes ago, speak to your body, speak the word, you confess the word. And so this is what the body says, this is what the doctor says, and this is what the word of God says. So whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe what the doctor says? Are you going to believe what this is saying, that's saying, or what the word of God says? I'm going to stand on what the word of God says, right. regardless of what is happening. Lord, I'm going to stand on your word and I'm going to confess your word. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. I receive my healing. Amen. I lay hands on myself. Mm -hmm. and, and everything that's mm -hmm. out of control, malfunction in this body, mm -hmm. I call it well in Jesus' yeah. name because the word of God says so. By his stripes, I'm healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. So receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So uh, time to give. Those of you watching, listening, would like to give. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Get that donate button. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now you can give by Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Yeah. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen.